So, CT angiogram, what does it stand for? Computerized tomography, angiography, or angiogram? It's a measurement of plaque in the anatomy of the coronary arteries using intravenous x-ray dye and CT imaging. So, you know, anytime you use CT, you're gonna have radiation. The calcium score is a CT technology. The radiation is minimal with calcium score. We'll talk about that some other time when we're talking about calcium score. It's not quite so minimal with CT angiogram. However, it's significantly less than what you see with something like a cardiac cath. Now there's a lot of data supporting the diagnostic accuracy and prognostic value of non-invasive coronary angiogram, angiography by CT. It's challenging the role of stress testing. So here's one of the key points that I want to make. If your doctor's saying, let's get a stress test and you haven't had a CIMT, you know, I understand good CIMTs can be hard to find. If you haven't had a calcium score, if you haven't had a CT angiogram, stop, think, consider these things before you go straight to a stress test. That's one of the most important points of this discussion today. You see, CT angiogram is typically performed in a radiology department or an outpatient imaging center. It's a minimally invasive test. You do have an injection, you do have dye, but instead of going up with a needle and then catheter through your groin to your heart, you inject the dye out in the arm. So then you inject that iodine containing contrast material in the arm. A few seconds later, they start doing the CT scanning. They examine the arteries and they get images like this. As you can see, these are very, very powerful images in terms of what the patient knows and understands. And at the end of the day, if lifestyle is more important than stents, bypass grafts, medications, or supplements, it's important to give the patient an understanding of what they've got in their heart. In fact, I've had a couple of patients and volunteers say to me, you know what, doc, I did get one of those CT angiograms. And here's what I did. I took a copy of that image and I put it on my refrigerator door. One of the hardest things in terms of lifestyle is controlling our diet. And if you have to go through a picture that shows your plaque, your own individual plaque, in order to get to that food, it helps motivate you to think about, hmm, do I really need this? Is this the best for my health? Images are reformatted after they get do the CT. They put it in a 3D image, as you see. The big difference between a coronary CT and other CTs is the speed of the CT scanner and the use of a heart monitor. So this is like the coronary calcium score. The heart's beating. So what many people don't realize until you start thinking about it is the CT, if it's gonna give us images like this, it has to get very quick images and it has to be able to time them. You have to be able to analyze it and time those images to adjust for the movement that you have with the heart beating. Now let's talk about the PROMISE trial. It was the first big study showing the potential of CT angiogram to bolster the current stress test problems. In this test, the ability of CT angiogram to predict heart attack or unstable angina was significantly better than functional tests. Those of you that are listening closely might say, well, what's a functional test. Usually functional test is going to be a stress test. So here's the image of the article. Coronary CT angiogram angiography is a diagnostic and prognostic tool. A perspective from a multi-center randomized control trial promise. Here was the big conclusion. I'll cut to the chase here. The big conclusion was that coronary CTA by identifying patients at risk because of non-obstructive coronary artery disease provides better prognostic information than functional testing. In other words, stress testing. Contemporary patients who have stable chest pain with a low burden of obstructive disease, myocardial ischemia, and events.